how's it going? Today, I wanted to take the big city book and go with you on a trip. Now, I don't know if you've been outside your respective country, but I've had the pleasure to go travel a few times in my life. the first thing that comes to my head. I, I could be totally wrong, uh, but that's a guess. The height of the city is 21 meters, so Galway is 21 meters tall. I guess that means they measure that by the tallest building, probably. Um, the size geographically is 50 square kilometers. Good drink, good food, uh, good music and art. 
famous Irish band. Um, and one of their very famous commercial songs, hits, was called Fairy Tale of New York. I don't know if you've ever heard it. It's a great um, drinking song. It's a great sort of bar um, dancing, swaying song. Responsibly, of course, always, but um, yeah, a pint of Guinness with that song is like awesome. And um, uh, so that was the first time I heard that song. I heard of Galway through that song. The first time I heard that song was when I was abroad a few years ago. Um, Matt Dillon plays in the music video as a New York City police officer. He doesn't say a word. He's just in the music video. And one of the lyrics is, And the boys of the NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay. And the, and the bells were ringing out on Christmas Day. So it's kind of a sad Christmas song. center lies on both sides of the fast flowing river Corrib, Corrib, and its curved cobbled streets run down to the busy harbor. High Street is closed to traffic most of the time, so often swarms with a festive crowd. The uninspiring Iyer Square and the bus and train stations, as well as most of the main shopping areas, are on the river's eastern bank to the southeast of Wolftown is the historic but now totally redeveloped district of Clada. To the west is the faded beach resort of Selfil. So I don't really know what they mean by faded beach resort. Maybe it was like a big thing uh, years ago. A lot of tourists may be down there and maybe it's not anymore. Walt 
sound so familiar. I don't, I'm not sure. And Peter York, AKA Christopher York. Um, oh, so they always have these weaknesses and strengths too. that would mean maybe they're referring to like a Irish pub chains or a yeah big big bar chains that I can see I can see that though that would like sort of uh, shut out the small creative little cute establishments that are influential and you know very grounded in culture so I could see that being Prodigious rainfall. <laughs> so a lot of rainfall. Uh, petty crime. Which, petty crime is better than violent crime. So pickpockets, breaking windows, stealing, you know, stealing things. Not so much strong armed robbery and murder, which is always better, I guess. And uh, race weak crowds, understandably. So, maybe we could get some cider. Um, if we're hungry, we could get Irish ham and wild salmon. That sounds really good. Um, uh, it says, uh, one of the recommended things the salmon weir, the salmon weir bridge to the weir itself. Okay, so now uh, they have a section on Galway strengths, which is always nice. Um, and as any any good city, the strengths outweigh the weaknesses. So, strengths, Galway Arts Festival and Galway Film, uh, Lynch's Castle, Spanish Arch, Southville Golf Course, which, if you don't know, um, first of all, I'm not a golfer at all, really, but I know that Ireland and Scotland, again, I know they're not the same, but for or Scottish watching, and I apologize, I'm categorizing them together, but uh, both countries are famous um, locations for the golfer. The wild beauty of the surrounding landscape is a strength, yes, and uh, street life in the summer is a big, uh, a big park there, and cute painted houses, we love cute painted houses. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a northern or a coastal European thing, but there seems to be, and I've never been to Scandinavia, Ireland, Scotland, um, uh, I haven't really been to many coastal parts of European countries, but I know that if you were to go to uh, parts of Sweden, Iceland, Greenland, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Ireland. I'm not so sure about Scotland. I don't. I just don't know. But if you were to go to those, the coastal regions, to a lot of these places, I know that these colored house things is like a big is a big part of the culture. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's like.
pictures I've seen, from what I've been told, there's not, a, it's not like it's cloudy there all the time, like you might hear stereotypically of a place like Ireland or the UK. But, so maybe the colored houses is like a way to just, um, just vibe with natural nature colors there. I don't know. But the more and more I talk about it, the more I feel like I'm taking myself into some kind of hole that one of you out there is like shaking their head at, so I apologize. Regardless, colored houses, cool. I think it's cool. And whether it's overcast, cloud coverage, a lot of cloud coverage or not, whether it's a clear day along the coast, I think those houses are beautiful. Every time I see a picture of like one of those brightly colored houses right along some fjord or body of water in Europe, my mind just sort of drifts out there and all I want to do is pick up a book, a pint of beer, maybe a glass of whiskey or wine, and just good conversation with some friends. It's very, very cliche and poetic for me. I'm glad we picked Galway. Maybe the next time we can go to some place in Scandinavia. So for each city, I have an urban myth, and this particular urban myth, it says, a romantic icon in the hearts and songs of Irish Americans for generations. Clada Village was once Galway's main commercial fishing center. Up to 3,000 people and 300 boats were based here. Clada once had its own costume and dialect, as well as its own king. Although the traditional Clada of thatched roofs, Irish speakers, and fishing boats disappeared in the early 20th century. Sorry, I keep clearing my... licking my lips and clearing my mouth. I'm not trying to be over dramatic with the sounds. I just, I am actually parched right now, so just bear with me. Uh, the rings. Oh, sorry. Let's see. You will still see many people wearing Clada rings. The rings depict a crowned heart nestled between two outstretched hands and signifies friendship. The hands, loyalty, crown. Oh, friendship is the hands. Um, loyalty is the crown in the ring, and love represents the heart. I've actually seen these rings a bunch. I've seen um, some of my friends have, have them. If the, heart point, if the heart points towards the hand, the wearer is taken or married. the fingertip means that he or she is looking for a partner. <laughs> this is bringing back so many memories. It has been the wedding ring used throughout much of um, Connaught since the mid-18th century. Um, now, I'm sure that there are guys that uh, probably wear these rings, um, but um, I grew up only knowing uh, a few girls who wore the I don't know if it's a cultural thing or not, but um, I love jewelry, jewelry regardless. I know I know a bunch of guys that wear jewelry, and I think it's awesome. But, yeah, so that's how I know Cloud of Rings. Um, talking about the heart pointing one way, seeking a relationship, pointing another way, seek, or, um, sort of taken, I guess, uh, in marriage or in bond. The people I knew who had them weren't married, just dating people. and uh, 
the city, um, about Irish culture in general, is rich with uh, performance. A lot of street performers. Um, uh, just a, a big, a big, uh, a lovely music culture. A lot of expression. sounds and hopefully get some of those tingles going in the meantime until I see you rest of the afternoon and stay safe I hope you have a good meal tonight actually just talking about it's getting me a little hungry talking about Galway I was imagining myself in a uh, in a pub somewhere I'll see you soon.